This session is on composition stoichiometry, and it's the first session. Now, stoichiometry. When you go to a party and you say, boy, I, I'm, I understand stoichiometry, uh, they, they, people could very well throw money at your feet. They would be so impressed. Or maybe not. But really, composition stoichiometry and stoichiometry in general is, is a pretty basic idea. It's a relationship of the quantitative aspect of reactants and products in reactions. And even simpler, the composition of starting points, the compounds themselves or even elements, is what we're going to start with first. We're not even going to go into the reactions. But we're going to be working over a couple sessions with this reaction, where you take magnesium, magnesium metal. It's a very bright, shiny metal, and it comes in a ribbon, usually in chemistry classes. And it's reacting in the air, and the oxygen is what it's reacting with. And it needs some kind of high temperature to start it. And you get a compound called magnesium oxide. That's not, that's a white powder. What's really significant, you get a lot of light and heat. And that's what's amazing. Extremely high temperature. Now, let's look at the periodic chart and our reactant. We're going to study the composition uh, usually composition stoichiometry is referred to compounds, but I'm going to work backwards as a pure substance. The other pure substance besides a compound is an element, and we're going to look at the composition of the magnesium itself. The magnesium, if you look in the periodic chart here, you see it has a atomic mass of... 24.31 AMUs. Now that's the number of AMUs per atom, per composite atom. Now magnesium is made up of three types of atoms. Magnesium 24, magnesium 25, and magnesium 26, and there's about 19 other isotopes. But magnesium 24, magnesium 24 is about 79% in nature. The rest is 25 and 26. The isotopes are short lived. Now, this is the composite of a single atom that doesn't exist. This is the percentage of, this is a weighted average of the isotopes. That's what atomic mass is. If we take this, this value and we say, well, that's one atom per atom. But if we look at a mole of atoms, you will remember a mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of anything, and this is magnesium. One mole of magnesium. Now you have the number of AMUs per mole of magnesium. It's a gigantic number, 24.31 times 6.02. But if we continue on by using this identity that one AMU weighs only 1.66 times 10 to the minus 24 grams. You can see you want to have, we work with grams in a lab, not AMUs. If we multiply this all out, notice the AMUs cancel out, and we have grams of magnesium in the numerator and moles of magnesium in the denominator. Do you notice we're doing dimension analysis? Dimension analysis, one of the most important skills that you will use in chemistry and physics for that matter. When we multiply this out, we come up with 
24.3 grams. Ha, huh, look at that. We started at 24.3 and we ended with 24.3. And so you remember this by now, perhaps in your classes, that on the periodic chart to go from the weight of a single atom to the weight of a mole of atoms, it's the same number, but you just change the unit from AMUs to grams. Okay, this is the weight of a mole. Now, let's get to the composition. So for a mole of magnesium, you know always know two things. You know the number of atoms in it, 6.2 times 10 to 23rd atoms. And you know its weight of a mole of atoms, 24.3 grams per mole. So if you have 0 0.5 moles of magnesium and you want to know how many grams that is. See how I'm setting up? This is what you have and this is what the unknown is. You multiply it by a conversion factor. You put what you want to get rid of in the denominator. Moles of magnesium. It's gone. And you put what you want in the numerator. Grams of magnesium. One mole is 24.31. So bingo, 12.1516 grams of magnesium. You can work backwards. You could start with 12.04 uh, times 10 to the 23rd atoms of magnesium. And I want to convert that to moles of magnesium. You put what you want to get rid of in the denominator. 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of magnesium. Write this out. Don't just you put numbers down here. Remember, we deal with quantities. Quantity is a number plus a unit. And up here we have 6.02 times 10 to the 23 atoms is one mole of magnesium. And of course the math here, you come out with two moles. If you wanted to convert from moles of magnesium to grams of magnesium, you would have to go from moles to atoms convert the moles to atoms and the atoms to grams. You wouldn't have to. If you wanted to go from atoms, I would expect what you would do is go through moles then grams. So this is what I prefer right here. Oxygen's the same way. For oxygen, Oxygen, the other reactant, is it's diatomic, it's O2. So the periodic chart is 32 grams per mole. And for oxygen, it's a molecule. So it would have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. You could do the same problem. A half a mole would be 16 times 16. Sixteen grams, a half of mole molecules will be three point oh one, two moles, twelve point oh four. Okay, we're gonna we'll talk about magnesium oxide in the next unit and we'll get into reactions. And we will stop now. So I would go to compositions towards